Yes, uh, Jeffrey Geiger, Tribune. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Mr. McCready, and thank you for uh, board for having this discussion tonight. Uh, Mr. Cabillas, you are on the board uh, because forms that the Tribune has found, we've, we've received all three tax filing returns for the Earthwest Institute. Mr. Cabillas is listed as a director. He did not receive any compensation. Um, but, you know, you, you sit here and you say that you really can't say much. Uh, and But do you as a board member take responsibility for what the for what the institute does, yes, you will take responsibility. Absolutely, but but you have no records to show any activity beyond those returns that are available publicly. Is that? That's right. Because I have, I do not have that information. Did that you ever have said. access to? Any well, I've had access to look at it. To, if there's papers that have to be signed, I signed them, but I I don't have the filing system. Yes, because your signature was on one of those returns. Yes, that was filed but you do not have any access to any other documents. Just like you do. I can we have access to the same documents. Right. Nor do I have any documents. I would have to do an open record for the rest of the And would that be sent to Mr. Holbrook? Would that need to be sent to Mr. Holbrook? That's how I would start. Okay. Um, well, in February, February 28th of this year, Holbrook said that he's no longer part of the project. However, when the Tribune requested these documents from the CPA, Ryan and company, uh, Holbrook said that we could not have them. However, we were able to attain those. And so would, would you say that Don Holbrook is still associated with the project, with the Institute project? Everyone seems to be gone. Bless him, you. I really don't have an answer for that because it is a, a non-profit. It's not a government agency. It right, but set up, you're sitting set on the board. Private. Yes, I'm sitting on the board that I'm a place marker for. Although I do attend the meetings when we have We have it for a long time. Uh, when did the EarthQuest Institute actually become defunct? What What was that year? Was I it 2011? Think the Institute's ever been defunct. I say, but you, I you say told it's me, in hibernation. You told the Tribune and when we talked, you know, a few weeks ago, that the institute was defunct. No, I did not use those words. Well, uh, I have a record that I, says otherwise. But my, my recollection is, I said that it was in hibernation. I never said defunct. Well, Holbrook himself even says that the institute is on hiatus, and that would be the same as same, I would say as, same as, as your hibernation. Yeah. So I think the institute will be reformed. In fact, I'm certain. Reformed in what way? Re reformed as a institute. Bringing in more the, active, reactivated, let's put it that way. So, so there has been no activity since 2010. No, no extra funding. Because it costs money, and there is no money. Uh, but we believe that it will be an integral part of the project, the overall EarthQuest project, because that's our connection with the college community and with other scientific organizations, that is, that is the, the idea of the, of the Institute, is to share teaching methodologies, uh, scientific uh, uh, experiments that people are coming up with that they have backing for. That could be a great uh, space, a great place for uh, unique ideas. Uh, great place for the colleges and, and teachers to get together and come up with great lesson plans for kids, a place for kids to go and do experiments. So the, the, the focus of the, the uh, not-for-profit, the, the institute, is really the, the intellectual side of the project that we think has some real possibilities of helping grow our colleges. Because we want the finest colleges in this part of the state and we want uh, to be good partners with our oil companies, our energy companies, we are the energy capital of the United States. Well then, the when, when is the capital. Institute going to be reformed and restarted? Well, I imagine once EarthQuest is started. Because, so anytime because the, the real, after the real June. backing is coming from the project itself. They've guaranteed a certain amount of land and money to build the Institute. Right. but. 
the institute which shares the same physical address that the MSED does not have access to the documents, which, which has been stated several times and, and even confirmed in a letter by Mr. Marks here. Uh, you know, there really is no institute here. Is there any institute anywhere? And will there be any time after June? Once the project closes, I'm quite certain that there will be an institute. And, we'll, and that will be still run by Mr. Holbrook? I have no idea who will be running that. Well, Mr. Holbrook is still listed as the president and CEO. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
property April 27th, somewhere in there. No rule on the offer that was made. The right. bank. Right.
you know. So when y'all do stuff, be a little more open with it. Where us people, when we read stuff, we don't have to go in and say, whoa, here we go again. We got a bunch more. And I'm not calling any of you thieves, but that's what's been said. Uh, so, you know, things that's been being done. Let me tell you something. I worked for Mort Mud. I've been there almost 25 years. Not once have I ever got a $25,000 Christmas bonus. Has any of your employees? Not a Christmas bonus of that size. Not for Christmas. No bonus? Not for Christmas. Any kind of a bonus to your secretary? To our secretary? Yes. No. So the paper was inaccurate? Uh, I would say for a Christmas bonus, $500 would be appropriate. You would be correct in that number. Uh, on an annual bonus, uh, maybe... $1,525 on an annual bonus. I would say that would be accurate. Uh, beyond that, now you're talking about my employees. Your employees. So I, would say, I would say that would be pretty accurate. Yes. <coughs> but not $25,000. Not $25,000. Okay. Uh, okay. we're, we're off on that number, but well, most five, definitely. Five, okay. We would like to see We, we were kind of surprised to see that ourselves. Yeah. We were unaware of it, too. Yeah, because I was wondering which one of these board members signed those checks. And I was like, <laughs> We've never I, I was going to come out and put up my application because I'd like to go work and make a look at that. But, uh, you know, we'd like to see some more stuff. Hey, if the park goes in, and I've said the day one, we'll never see it. That's my opinion. I said, when it's built, I'll believe it. But, you know, instead of so much focus going in on the park, can we not get some new restaurants? You know, bring some restaurants, some nice restaurants out here. I'm sick every day when I go to lunch that there's only one place I can go to around here to sit down and eat other than fast food. I don't mind fast food, don't have nothing against it, but you know, you get tired of the same old thing all the time. Let's bring some restaurants out here. Let's bring some, uh, you know, a bowling alley for the kids. My God, we need something for our kids. You know, has anything ever been done about that? You know, help somebody buy a piece of property and put in a bowling alley. You know, it's not just for the adults, it's for the kids. Do something for the kids out here. These kids out here are, and it's not just here, it's everywhere. Kids are going crazy. Let's find something to help keep them busy. I would say from a retail perspective, I do think in the next 9 to 12 months you will see some, some construction taking place across the street from Valley Ranch. We Why do we have to wait for Valley Ranch? We've been waiting on them a long time, so let's do something <laughs> somewhere else. Understand, I'm just giving you some time. I'm just giving you some time for Andrew. Yes, sir. Yes, we're still working, and, and they actually are coordinating their efforts with, with EarthQuest. Uh, the, reason for that being, <laughs> the reason for that being is they can then uh, basically perform with shared parking, you know, build one parking lot instead of two, and also infrastructure and amenities. They can provide shared amenities so that we don't have two separate projects and two parking lots. So they're working together with Chris Brown with Contour to partner together with EarthQuest.
prospect of doing that? We're very interested in talking to any business. Well, I did. I did. I did talk to y'all. And I was so, me and my son, as a matter of fact, at that time, just shortly after that, when I was still trying to talk to y'all about getting some help, you told me to come in. I didn't think that the earthquake thing was going to do it really happen. Just come look at your desk. And you had a little dinosaur skull or something on your desk. And I was thinking, if it's $7 million and now there's more than that, I could have dinosaur skulls on my desk too. That doesn't make it happen. So is this going to happen? Or are we just going to keep throwing good money after that? That's my main thing. But we're going to keep funding these imaginary projects. These people that come in, do they not have their own funding? Are they not able to get their own funding? Why are we responsible for this? As taxpayers, why are we responsible for funding them? Well, I don't see how we're funding the project other than moving it forward at, at this point. That's all that's all that we're doing. So I might be misreading your questions, but I'm trying to respond the best that I can. I understand and I appreciate that. But by paying for their designs, their incentives, we are funding. If they come to you with a great idea, that's lovely. But should they not have some of their money, their own money, their own assets to tie into this? It looks like that these people put nothing into it. Them said put everything into it that has been done thus far. That doesn't make sense to me. As a business person, as anything, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I think it's probably a little bit inaccurate because we do know that they have put some money in themselves. It's not that they invested money and then didn't put any more money in whatsoever. We do know there are developers that expended money toward Earthquest and toward the project. But they got the property. If they spend it next they bought property, which we have no security. There was no secure loans or funds. They were given money freely, without strings, without ties. Is that correct? No, there, there were specific parameters of how the money should be spent in uh, in the bond proceeds, and that was all audited and presented to our board. What was the money spent for? Have I missed that? There, is, there, is, there, there are audits in regards to where the seven and a half or $7.8 million was spent. Those audits were presented to our board. If you would like a copy, let me know and we can get those. I would. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you.
Yes, sir. We've talked uh, last two weeks ago and we made comments about the Whitestone Corporation, in which y'all have seemed to really try hard to distance yourself from. And yet, Mr. Cabela said that the district owns 51% of the Whitestone. So, how can owning controlling interest in it disassociate yourselves with what Whitestone has done? If Whitestone has gone bankrupt, and you own 51%, which is controlling interest. How can you say they went bankrupt, but I didn't? We didn't have nothing to do with it. Uh, don't answer a question. Well, it's a legal question. There's a legal answer. Yeah, absolutely. And the district acquired was was given by Whitestone 51% of the limited partnership, which is sort of a passive investment. Um, prior, sometime prior to it going into bankruptcy, as a, a method to ensure that they would get get some some interest in the uh, in any benefit that, that came about from the sale of land if there was any. As it turns out, um, with a 20, 20 million dollar mortgage on, on property that apparently is worth ten to eleven million dollars, it's not really worth anything. Uh, but but it was something that the district was able to secure prior to knowing all this information as just part of part of a security position. Maybe that something is archived 